Hey guys, video today is about ThinkPads, a new computer. I have an X1C3, um, let's see if I can show, somehow show it to you. It is this one I'm using here. And the main beef I have with it is that it's only got two USB ports. Other than that, I'm fairly happy. But in my past experience of upgrading between different generations of Intel hardware, uh, I think the previous one was um, Broadwell, uh, fifth generation, and the one before that was probably, I think, Ivy Bridge, um, so fourth generation. Uh, if you're wondering what generation Intel you have, it's quite easy to tell. You basically run, uh, have a look at proc uh, CPU info, and you can see here, this is the i5 is the chip thing, and then the 5 that's an indication it's fifth generation so this one is Broadwell so yeah the um, so this this one's been good to me this X1C3 has been good to me it restored my faith that Linux or rather ThinkPads and Linux or Arch Linux can, can really do a good job because everything works on this machine I feel and I'm very very happy but the new generation is out the Skylake six generations out and just on my past experiences Every time there's a generation update, I just I just like to be there too. I just want to see what's going on, and um, I want to upgrade because uh, I I enjoy the upgrade, ultimately. So um, so yeah. Well, well, I was thinking of getting a new um, X1 Carbon uh, Generation Four. I actually even put a Google alert out for it, but unfortunately, um, for some reason. Lenovo has just called it the X1 Carbon, um, so confusingly, there's actually on the face of it, no way to differentiate it between the previous X1 Carbons, bizarrely. Uh, um, so um, it's only if you look closely you realize that um, it is uh, Skylake. I, I mean, where's Skylake even mentioned here? Nowhere, basically. Um, maybe sixth generation? Yeah, here it is mentioned sixth generation. So yeah, Skylake is out. And uh, the only problem I have with X1 Carbon is that it it is a bit pricey. It's got three USB ports, three USB ports, thankfully, and that's like the major motivating factor for me to get this new machine besides Sky Skylake. And um, yeah, I was I was thinking of getting the X1 Carbon, but the thing that put me off is that the price the price is quite up there. Um, I did some comparisons on Twitter and it's up there and another thing I don't like about the X1 Carbon is you you need like a little dongle I don't know if you can see can you see my little dongle down here you need a little dongle just to get on on the wired uh, and I'm I actually if I'm sitting down at a desk I preferred wired connections because the internet is so much faster when you're wired it's so much more stable lower latency I just hate wireless connections given the given the choice between a wired so actually, X1 Carbon minus points is the um, the cost and the fact that you need a little dongle to, to get on the internet. Uh, well, how I like to get on the internet. So I have been looking at other things. It's it is a bit uninspiring when when you know this. I I don't like the whole Lenovo stuff. Like you know, we innovate when when the factors of the matter that, like all the um, all the what do you call it. PC manufacturers are using Intel reference boards, really, and they all end up looking pretty darn similar. Even even the MacBook Air, I dare say. So I'm thinking, what are the alternatives? I was looking very closely at the X2 uh, 260, but then someone pointed out the T series, which is not even here. The T series, the um, blah 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 blah. The T46S is actually an um, Ultrabook. It's actually pretty much the same class as the X1C3. In fact, this generation, that the Skylake, is the same weight, I believe, as the X1C3. But the new X1C3 4, which they don't call the X1C3 4, um, is actually a few, like, uh, you know, 300 grams lighter. So the T460S, and to be honest, the, the weight of this thing is pretty fine to me. I, 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 it doesn't need to be uh, a, 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 a couple of hundred grams lighter to me. But the 246S is is very interesting to me. It's got the sixth generation CPU. Um, also, 
if you select it, it has these other options which I find quite interesting, like the, the NVIDIA option. So that's the one I've been dwelling on of, of late. I hate this thing so much. I'm also thinking of going... The trouble is I fear, as you well know, I'm doing these screencasts and then my screen is, uh, is uh, what, 1920 by 180. So when I'm capturing this, it's actually pretty good. Um, but if I if my screen is two five six zero and I need to capture down to um, one hundred and eighty p, I feel like the da I fear the downscaling is going to suck. Oh yeah, here's the Nvidia choice. But again, I don't know even if this is going to work really well on Linux. I, the drivers in Nvidia in Linux have always been a little bit. But then again, I'm not overly overwhelmed by the Intel stuff. Yes, three D kind of works nowadays, but it's not amazing. Oh, thank you for the 720p camera with Mike. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit strange how they have two... Like, why do they even list it? Like, it's not like there's a choice here. They have two two batteries. So, yeah, I think one is removable, unlike the X1C3. Because, like, this X1C3, I, you know, you can't replace anything on it. So, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm hoping the new display is worth it. Oh, Lenovo was on, was offering this Wii gig stuff, um, which is some sort of dock. Of, can I can even show you? Uh, no, yeah, I, I, I don't mind. It, again, I, I just thought I'd mention it. It's like this really cool dock thing. <laughs> All this stuff is so stupid. V Pro, no one uses that. This Wii gig thing, yeah. I, this interests me. It gives you like a, a wireless dock, but does it work on Linux? No clear answer, hence I'm not going to risk it. Um, yeah, mil spec, whatever the hell. No one uses this, do they? Noise can't, you know, to be honest, the microphones, this is why I have one of these bad boys. The microphone on Lenovo has never been good. So the only thing I think about ThinkPads in the last few years is that I think they've become a little bit cheaper. Other than that, zero innovation. Thank you, Lenovo. Um, oh, I thought I should mention that I did. I do hang out on Reddit. My username is Kai, and I did have a look uh, or did ask questions on about a little. I did ask questions on Reddit about um, my choice and the only way I can actually share what I wanted to perhaps buy is by taking a screenshot on, on Firefox but yeah the that's w where I found out that um, I got some interesting advice like uh, to check out the T4 success which I did and I'm like oh wow this is great they also recommended I don't uh, I get the lowest uh, hard drive and then upgrade it myself I'm hoping that there's no crazy Lenovo proprietary connections or firmware to make the, the self upgrade um, impossible. If that happens, I'll be very upset if I can't upgrade a 128 gigabyte hard drive. But otherwise, um, yeah, good advice from these guys, um, I think. And I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take the leap. I'm gonna order it. But I'm gonna upload this video first to see if, if, if any of you guys have something to, to share before I do so. And yeah, please, I'll, I'll link to the couple of Twitter comments I've made about it. But otherwise, thank you for, again for watching and um, uh, happy arch or something like that with your ThinkPad. Uh, if you don't use your ThinkPad, what do you use? See ya!